Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about pyridinium chlorochromate, a chromium-based oxidizing agent for alcohols that will stop at the aldehyde when reacting with uh, primary alcohols. So if I have a primary alcohol, uh, if you've watched my video on the chromic acid oxidation, then you know that primary, alcohol, primary alcohols can be over-oxidized in some React, re, or, uh, some oxidizing conditions to carboxylic acids. And they go through the aldehyde as an intermediate. But what, what if you wanted that aldehyde? Instead of the carboxylic acid, you wanted the aldehyde. Well, there is now a way. And that way is pyridinium chlorochromate, which is abbreviated... PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate, PCC. Pyridinium chlorochromate is made in situ, so it's generated in the reaction by the reaction of pyridine as a base, hydrochloric acid, or hydrogen chloride, and chromium trioxide. Uh, and the outcome of this is uh, pyridine, pyridine ending up protonated there we go. and the chlorine ending up on the chromate. and forming this, this uh, ionic compound here. Now, the interesting thing about this ionic compound is that it can react with alcohols and form chromate esters uh, like chromic acid does, but it's soluble in organic solvents. So where the chromic acid oxidation is often done in aqueous solution, this reaction is done in organic solution. Nobody's going to fault you if you don't feel like writing pyridine, pyridinium chlorochromate or pyridine HCl and chrom, chromic oxide. If you just want to write uh, PCC uh, as the reagent on your arrow, you are welcome to do so. Uh, I'm just here to review the scope of this reaction. If we have a primary alcohol, we'll do something a little different than my first example there. So PCC, uh, a common solvent for PCC is dichloromethane, though, though other solvents are certainly used. If you were, uh, and so this leads to the aldehyde and it stops. If you have a molecule that has an aldehyde in it and you treat it with PCC, you are going to get no reaction. And that's good because you might want to stop at that aldehyde. If you have a molecule that has a secondary alcohol in it, like isopropyl alcohol, it will still be oxidized to the ketone. And likewise, tertiary alcohols are also going to react the way you would expect them to, which is to say tertiary alcohols do not react. Uh, and if you want to hear my hypothesis as to why PCC stops at the aldehyde, you can go back and watch the end of my video on the chromic acid oxidation, which implicates water as part of the problem. Uh, in aqueous solutions, Aldehydes can be in equilibrium with something called the hydrate, which presents an opportunity to form another chromate ester that can be oxidized. In organic solution, and this is the key difference here, PCC is not guaranteed to, to undergo a second reaction with the aldehyde. This video can uh, concludes those three oxidizing agents that are typically covered in an undergraduate organic chemistry course. Uh, but I plan to follow this video with one more highlighting some other oxidizing agents that have been developed, uh, mostly to avoid using chromium, which is actually pretty toxic. Um, and then 
Some of them stop at the aldehyde and some of them don't, depending on what they are. Thank you for watching.